Hi, maybe you remember my YouTube short on the hardware donation I got from Wisnet. Wisnet is a company building chips with hardware TCP IP technology. And their products makes it really easy to connect anything to the internet. I want to use Wisnet chips for a new series of videos in which I want to show you how Ethernet works. So, and in today's video I will show you how to set up a UDP server on a Wisnet W7500P with Embed OS. So I got this evaluation board here, the WisWiki W7500P. This is the evaluation board for the W7500P. This chip integrates an ARM Cortex-M0 processor and a hardware TCP IP stack. And it also comes with an integrated Ethernet file. So you can just connect the chip directly to an RJ55 connector here. It also features an onboard debugger. So it's a quite nice evaluation board. But how can we program it? Well, here we have this label, Embed Enabled. So maybe Embed is an option. But what is Embed? So Embed OS is an open source, easy to use operating system for Internet of the Things. It's built from ARM and it's based on ARM Cortex-M microcontrollers like we have in our W7500P. And Embed OS is available for the W7500. If, and so why don't use this? It's open source and it's easy to use, so it sounds quite cool. So if you want to develop with Embed OS, you have several options. One option is you can use Kyle Studio, but Kyle is a proprietary program and you will need a quite expensive license to use it. Another option is using Embed Studio. Embed Studio is freeware, but it's also proprietary. If you want to go 100% free and open source, you can use the Embed command line interface. In today's video, I will use Embed Studio, but when I'm more familiar with Embed OS, I hope I can switch to the Embed command line interface. So that's my plan. And here you can see Embed Studio. So it looks a little bit like Visual Studio Code, but hey, that's okay. So now let me show you how to set up a simple UDP server on my W700-5000P evaluation board. Up here on the target, you can see I have connected my evaluation board to my PC over USB and it's detected automatically. Otherwise, we could manually um, yeah, select the supported, um, the supported device. Okay, so now let's create a new program. Ah, maybe before I will do this one important thing. By default, Embed Studio is using a proprietary ARM compiler. If you want to use the ARM GNU compiler, you have to change a setting. So you have to navigate to config, Embed Studio, and here you have to create the file externaltools.json. And in here you have to fill this content. So this here is the path under which the ARM GCC can be found and you have to set the default toolchain to GCC ARM so this will enable Embed Studio to use the ARM compiler. So at least we have a free and open source compiler here. Okay, so now let's create a new program. I will select empty Embed OS program for Embed OS 5 because if you're using the ARM compiler the W7500P is only supported with the older version of the operating system. Okay, then we can give it a project name. I will select UDP server. Here, it's asking for the Embed OS location. So we have to um, yeah, download the whole source code for the operating system and we can select if we want to store it in our program folder or if we have an existing Embed OS instance if you want just to add a link and use it there. But I will go with the default option here. So now here this UDP server is popping up. Here we can see the Embed OS is loading and here we have an empty main function. Okay, here it is. Maybe let me see oh, if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, zoom in. Mm. 
yeah I think that's a little bit better okay for using the hardware TCP IP stack we will have to add a library to our project here so we have to use the WISNET interface OS5 library here we can just click on import into embed studio and we'll getting this link for adding it so let me copy this link and go back to embed os right click here add library and all we have to do here is um, pasting in the library path click next and the next thing it will do it will check um, the yeah we have to select the branch we want to use and i will go with the default branch here click finish and now this library will be imported to, to our project. So now we can see here we have our the source code for the embed OS operating system and we also have our WISNET interface OS5 library in here. Okay so now we can start coding. First I will have to um, add some includes. So we want to include WISNET interface.h for accessing our hardware TCP IP stack. I will include um, endpoint.h for our um, UDP connection. I will include WISNET UDP socket for our UDP server. And I think that's it. Okay, I want to use um, so one UART interface of our W7500P is connected to our onboard debugger and can be forwarded to our PC. To use this, um, I have to declare a new serial connection. So embed OS is written in C++, so I have to create a new um, object from the class serial, I will call it PC and here I have to pass in the pins which are used for transmitting and receiving and they are behind the defines USB TX and USB RX here. Okay and for setting up the interface the second thing we have to do is we have to set the baud rate, I will use 9600 here and I have also to set the format so I want to have eight data bits, um, none. Uh, so this should be um, no parity bit, and the last option one here, so for one stop bit. And therefore we have set up the serial connection. Okay. Now for our um, yeah. So our server should control an onboard LED. So if we take a look here, we have this onboard LED and my goal is to toggle this onboard LED over a simple UDP server. So therefore we will need a GPIO pin, so a digital output. So I will create an object from the class digital out. I will call it LED. I will use LED2 here, which is a define. And by default, I want to set it to one because this LED is connected in a way it's using an inverse logic. Okay. Then we need some more variables. We need an array for MAC addresses. I will use this dummy MAC address here. Then we need an object from the class WISNET interface for our Ethernet interface. <laughs> we need a WISNET UDP socket for our UDP socket. I will call it UDP. We need our client endpoint and I will also add a status variable here. Okay, so now um, set up the Ethernet interface. What I have to do here is I will call the function Ethernet init and the first argument is our MAC address or a pointer to our MAC address array. The second one is the IP address we want to use and I will use 192.168.123.123 here. Then the next argument is the subnet mask 
and the last argument is the address of the gateway and I will set it to this IP address here. Okay, normally on, we should get a zero on success and in case it returns something else, we should get an error. I will just print out init done or um, ethernet init done returned and I will print out the return value here. So that's it. Then the next thing I will do is I will execute or I will call the connect function. So this will activate the Ethernet interface. No point here. An equal sign and yeah, let's print out the status value here as well. Okay, the next thing we have to do is we have to bind um, a port to a socket. Therefore, I will call the function UDP bind. And here we have to set the port number we want to use. And I will use 12,345 here. So, and let's store the status value here as well and print it out here. And now our server is set up and we can enter an endless loop here. Okay, and I forgot I will need a buffer variable here. I will call it just buffer. And let's make it 256 bytes big. Uh, bit, bits, yeah, bytes big. Okay. Okay, to receive from our UDP socket, I will call the method UDP receive from. So client is the client's information from which I received something. Then I have to pass in my buffer and the ma maximum length of my buffer is 256 here. And as I, I'm here in C++, I don't need this here. Okay. In case we receive more than zero bytes, we will, we have to do something. So in case if string compare buffer and on with this newline character here is equal to null, I will turn on my LED. Therefore I will set my LED to zero. And yeah, maybe let's do a little bit more here. So I will set the LED here to zero. I will print f turn late on. And I will send a message back with UDP send to. I will want to send to client. I want to send the string done. And the length here is um, four bytes. And maybe let's add a new line character here so we have five bytes. Okay. And for string compare, we have to include C string here. Okay. So let's open up an else here. So in case it's off, I will turn the LED off. Okay, and else I will use UDP send to invalid. I will send an invalid here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and these are eight bytes, and I will print that. Um, yeah, error invalid command. Okay, so that should be it. Let me try to compile this program here. So yeah, let's, therefore we can click here on build. This will take a little time. 
of the building process. Maybe as it will build the whole embed OS, this will take some minutes. So let me pause the video here and let's continue when the building is done. Okay, the building is done. So now we have our file here. And if I click here on this run program button, it will um, yeah, it will flash the, the program into the W7500P microcontroller. So let's do this. Okay, so now it's trying to build it again if, in case it's necessary, but as everything is just built, this shouldn't take too long. Okay, now you can see it's erasing and if I check this here, you should be able to see, see the LED flashing here. So this is looking good. Actually currently it's uploading the program. Okay, and now it's opening up this serial connection here. So here we can see our UR prints. But I would want, don't want to use this um, integrated um, yeah, serial terminal. So let me close it and let's go back here. And I will use screen here and open up a new serial connection. Okay, so here we are. Let me press the reset button. So, okay, we have our messages here once again. And here I will use netcat here for connecting to my server. So this will be our UDP client. Um, minus U here is for UDP. Then I have to enter the MAC address and the port. And now I can type something. So let's turn the LED on by typing on. Yes, we can see we have received turn LED on here and the LED is now on with off. We can turn the LED off and if I enter an invalid command, I will get the message invalid command here and here the UR print invalid command. Okay, cool. So that's how to implement a simple UDP server on the W7500P evaluation board by using Embed OS. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee and buy me a coffee.com slash for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.